everybody welcome back to my channel um if you're new here hi thanks so much for stopping by um my name is Catherine I am a full-time mental health therapist and also a full-time lover of makeup and beauty and fashion um I consider myself a makeup enthusiast and collector as well as I love reselling um secondhand fashion um online uh, all my socials and stuff will be on the bottom if you would like to follow me on my IG. That's usually where I'm more um, active and kind of go through my whole life as a therapist, somebody who loves beauty, and reselling. So if you'd like that, please uh, look below. You can be brought right to my page. Anywho, let's get started. Today is going to be an Allure Beauty Box and BoxyCharm unboxing video. So let's get started um and those who are new to allure beauty box or boxycharm um they are monthly subscription boxes that you pay money for <laughs> and they send you products um kind of like a mystery box in a sense um so the first one we will go through is uh let me get myself set up here is the allure beauty box this one costs about a little less than $25 um, including tax um, and it's a monthly box you get a few full-size products and uh, the rest are more like trial size or deluxe size products um, you always get a little pamphlet inside which is what I'll be reading from so let's go ahead and get started all right, the first product is this Sunday Riley Lighthearted Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. You gotta love good sunscreen, especially um, if you um, have a face or skin, you need to put sunscreen on it. I say that, I'm not that great at it. I'm trying to get better, but maybe something like this cute little product will help me. <laughs> so, and it is very cute indeed like little what is it oh little hearts duh it's called lighthearted it looked like strawberries at first um this retails for $35 let's see it gets a it's a pink tinted formula that goes on sheer um and it has physical and chemical uv blockers like zinc oxide oxisol uh, some other words um and it's loaded with anti-inflammatory turmeric extract and safflower seed oil to smooth and protect, or soothe and protect, I should say. Um, and it's supposed to be for sensitive skin as well. So that's cool. Who doesn't like that? Retails for $35. Uh, this next product is Alpha H Liquid Gold with gly Glycolic Acid full size product this retails for $54 um, what's it supposed to do revitalizes and assists in firming the skin in a single application through a multi-action formula of silk uh, protein and licorice it's an overnight facial which targets tiered aging of the skin to renew tired and sun damaged complexions while improving skin texture and tone clinically proven to decrease wrinkle depth re reduce roughness and increase moisture within the skin well, that's cool retails for 54 dollars <coughs> oh that's not it's not what I was expecting for the top. I don't understand why you need this top if it already closes up here. That kind of just seems like a waste to me, but what do I know? Anyway, we'll have to give that a go. Uh, so next one, this is, I want to say if this is like a trial size or deluxe trial size. It looks like it's about half the size of a normal one. Um, this is the a cure radically rejuvenating dual phase Bactrol serum and if I'm not mistaken Bactrol um, is like retinol's cousin or sister or something of that nature um, yeah a retinol alternative for smoothing skin softening lines and minimizing breakouts with less potential irritation um, so that is what she looks like it's kind of cute it's like I can't tell if it actually is like blue and green or if that is the 
Oh, that must just, no, it kind of looks half blue, half green. That's kind of cool. Um, I have a Bactual type serum already from Herbivore. Um, I haven't used it in a little while because I was using it and I wanted to see if I didn't use it, if there was any difference. So I'm kind of still in that process, but this is a cute little guy to replace the other one and a lot cheaper because um, the full size one is $20 and I think you can get a cure at Target. So 5% off too. What's the next one? Oh, Knep, Nep with a K. Relaxing Lavender Mineral Bath Salts. Um, so full size one is $20. You can get this at Ulta. Um, and it just has essential oils and bath salts, which I always love. I Baths are kind of a self-care routine for me, so I always have bath salts, so it's always nice to have another one. And I love lavender. It's one of my favorite scents. So our next full size product is this or how do you say it? Oriza Oriza Beauty Opus Velvet Ribbon Lipstick in the color Opus. Now I it's it's all packaged up or I'd show you the color. Um but from the picture it does not look like a color that I could get down with. Um, so what happens with this is I actually save and accumulate these products that I know I'm not going to use or maybe even products that I have used before and I don't love and then I wait to send them into a company called you for me I will link down um, below a video that I did for it explaining everything but basically it's like a thrifted um, thrifted uh, beauty community and they resell products for you and you get a cut of it so that will go to them and then the last little trial size um, I have is Belief the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, which a lot of these Belief products come in subscription boxes. Um, a full size one costs $38 and it's a 50 milliliters is the full size and this is 10 milliliters. So 38 divided by five is what this costs. Anyhow. So that is the Allure Beauty Box. We got some good stuff that I think I'll use. Again, some other stuff that I don't think I'll use. But I have plans for it. Not not for me, but for others. Alright, so that's Allure. Now we're getting into Box Charm. Now, again, Box Charm is another monthly subscription box based on beauty and skincare and makeup and hair and all, all things beauty. We'll just lump it into that. They have different tiers. So Allure is just kind of set as is. Um, box to Charm has different tiers. So you have a base box, which costs $25 a month, and you get upwards, I think it's like five products, upward retailing for $125. Then you have base, um, I'm sorry, blah, 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 premium box, which costs $35 a month. Um, and then I think you get six to seven products that retail for like $175. And then if you opt to get into it, we do have Lux boxes, um, which cost $50 every quarter if you choose to do them. Um, so I choose to do base box every month. And then on the quarter boxes or the Lux boxes, I choose to pay an extra $25 um, that month only. Um, so it happens four times a month to get, I think, it's eight to nine products valued for $250. So I always love opting to do the Lux boxes and September is a Lux box. So let's see what we got. And another beauty is, is that you actually get to start customizing some of your products for a BoxyCharm. Allure Beauty Box, you do not, but BoxyCharm you do. You get to customize like at least one product, maybe two products sometimes. Um, so that's really cool. So you kind of know what you're getting and then the rest is a surprise. Um, so this is the pamphlet for BoxyCharm and the, um, uh, the theme is just fall lux. Pretty straightforward. And it gives you all the information on the back. So the first thing we'll start with is, oh, this is not the one. Um, this is the product that I actually got to pick this 
this go around and things were going quickly um the products they got to choose from were actually from rare beauty which i think this is their first time being in box charm so that's pretty cool you're actually getting some products now these days that are like from really well-known companies which what i like about box charm and allure beauty box and all these subscription boxes that i have is that it's kind of now a mix of known products or known brands and unknown brands and i've found some really cool things that i've like never heard of before because you know you know hear from them um that i really like but i also like that you get a mixture of known products as well so this was my um choice and uh it actually wasn't my first choice it was my third choice because the first two were the eyeshadow palettes from rare beauty um and those just went immediately so this is what i had it was either this or like a toning um like powder and i didn't want that um so this is the rare beauty with gratitude dewy lip balm retails for 16 dollars. it is a hydrating lip balm with a kiss of dewy build up a cover color that looks and feels so good that your lips will thank you so, I thought that was nice. Let's see. Now we have um, Iconic London Triple Threat Mascara. Um, let's see what she looks like. This retails for $26. Jeez, Iconic London. Um, kind of hard to see with these lights, but it is like this, I think it's silver packaging. I can't tell. Um, I don't want to open it quite yet because again, I'm very particular about my mascaras and more particular about the brush, um, sizes because I do have hooded eyes. So what I will do is I will look online to see what the brush looks like first before opening. Cause if not, I will send to that you for me company. Um, cause they only accept new unopened unswatched makeup products. Um, this retails for $26. It says it's an ultra black stunning weightless formula volumizes lengthens and lifts lashes all day and night for dramatic fluttery look. So I feel like all mascaras kind of say the same thing. Um, and not all of them deliver, but we'll try it out and we'll see if we like it. This one is. This is Saturday Skin. <laughs> I did not read Pop at first. I read it something else. Um, this is called Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream, a soft and luxurious whipped cream with encapsulated probiotics activated by prebiotics for healthy and radiant-looking skin. Um, so I think it's just like a moisturizer. Fifty-seven dollars. is what she looks like really pretty like iridescent pearly packaging me gusta okay the next thing was this cab cosmetics and apparently cab is from a um i don't know one of those housewives shows people i don't watch that so i have zero idea um, but it is the Volume 1 Cab Cosmetics Contour Palette. Now, what I will say, I've already opened this. I have not swatched it. This I cannot get down with. I do not like these colors. I don't think these colors will look good for me. Um, so with that being said, I'm not going to swatch it. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to put it back in its packaging and it's going to go off to somebody else. Um, but it does retail for $60 um, for, what was this? Eight silky powders that blend effortlessly into the skin for the perfect contour every time. Use darker shades for chiseled, striking contour and lighter shades for um, eyes and other high points for a lifting effect. So again, not my, not my jam, um, not my color scheme, but it might be for some other people. So that's fabulous. For me, it is not. So it goes off to you for me. Um, and hopefully I can resell it and yeah, get back in your package. Okay. So the next thing we have is this Adagio Not So Mini Flat Iron. Um, so this is what she looks like. 
this retails for $99. Bananas. Let's see. So, oh, so yep, a little flat iron. How cute. I love the rounded sides too. I have never been one able to perfect like this, the flat iron curl, but I feel like something with a, uh, rounded edges would make it a little bit easier for me. Um, so this is again, perfect for traveling. So you don't have to bring like your whole flat iron, even though flat iron isn't really that much bigger in my opinion, but you never know. Very cool. Next product, the new Co Defense Drops. So this is what it looks like. And this retails for $35. It states your first line of defense against getting sick. This immune boosting liquid tincture contains a blend of adap adaptogenic herbs and immunomodulating, <sighs> they're putting some big words in here immunomodulating extracts with naturally antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties. Use it the first sign of scratchy throat or sneeze to help support your body's immune response. So this is what she looks like. It's got rosemary, yastrag, renacea, echinacea, celestia, I don't know. That's what it looks like. Um, let's, let's see. says one dropper full every day Ooh. Ooh. Mm, I have to say it does not mm. it tastes kind of smoky actually um it's not necessarily the best tasting but again if, um, if it helps prevent being sick, that's great. Maybe mixing this in, like in with water, a whole glass of water kind of uh, will dilute that taste. Um, a few more products. The last one, uh, not the last one, the second last one is the Lifestyle Co. Bamboo Body Polish. Um, this retailed for $49. I will say, again, I live in Arizona, so, and it's still pretty hot out. Um, this was kind of melty uh, when I when I got it and it actually kind of got on some of the other products when I initially opened it because I think it has, what does it have? Bamboo stem extract, jojoba oil, aloe vera, and some sort of like coconut oil or something in it. Um, very liquidy. Can you, can you tell? Um... So this is just a body polish. So again, kind of get that excess uh, dead skin off and you're good to go. It smells good. Retails for $49. Um, this last one is Dew of the Gods Froze Lip Scrub for retails for um, $16. It is Haya Activated Lip Scrub. I think you activate it with water. Um, has hyaluronic acid and essential oils to hydrate, exfoliate, and lift. Made from sugar, strawberry seed oil, jojoba oil, and shea extract. Um, cool. Cool. So, um, this was a relatively um, expensive box. I haven't added everything up, but I will um, for you down below. I will say... I will say because I open up all of these boxes before I actually open them up on camera because I just can't help myself um, and I usually get them earlier in the month and I'm just too lazy to film until the end of the month um, so when I initially got the box chart I was not happy with it I actually I was like oh god it's like I don't really think I'm gonna use these things I don't really like it and actually kind of reviewing the products over again I do like it you know, minus the, the bronzing palette, maybe that was like, cause it was the first, it was like set the tone for the box cause it was the first thing on the box. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't like this. And then with the body polish kind of melting over everything and I'm like, oh, I don't like this either. Um, 
I, I wasn't thrilled with it, but actually, like I said, revisiting everything, I, I actually am, I do like these things. Um, I'm really hopeful for the mascara. I hope it has a really nice wand on it um, to use it. I Who doesn't want to be healthy with the drops? Um, the Rare Beauty, you know, that's again, that's really cool to get those products in there. Um, so yeah, I think I actually do like it. So like I said, I will list everything down below, the prices, um, what I pay for things, as well as um, referral a referral code for you if you ever decide that you want to try BoxyCharm or Allure Beauty Box. I do have a referral code um, for you, which I always appreciate if you choose to use them. You don't have to, but I do appreciate it. Um, and with that being said, did uh, did you like this month's BoxyCharm? Are you do you have box charm do you have laura beauty box did you like it did you not like it let me know things um down in the comments because that does help engagement with this channel i am trying to help um grow this channel um so with engagement helps growth so if you could um consider subscribing if you like this content or uh, thumbs up thumbs down do whatever comments do all the things um to engage with the video with that, I appreciate you taking the time to watch and um, we'll be seeing each other later. Bye.